In this video, we're going to talk about the reasons that Devin Lirit will defeat Levon Saganishvili at East vs. West. Keep in mind that this video is not a prediction of the result of the match, but rather a prediction of the lane the match will have to take place in if Devin is to win. This is the part 2 of the Why Levon Wins video that I put out yesterday. Again, it must be noted that as far as total win conditions go, Levon is the clear favorite. Perhaps there are 10 lanes in which Levon can win, and only one lane in which Devin can win. But in this video, we are going to discuss exactly what Devin will need to do in order to win this match. The thing about Devin's win condition for this match is that it will be a stacking win condition. Or in other words, he doesn't just need to accomplish one thing to win, but he will have to accomplish multiple things in a row in order to have a chance. If Devin fails to do even one of these things, the match is totally over. And here are Devin's win conditions in order. Devin will first need to find Levon's fingers in order to put pressure into them. He will then need to crack Levon's wrist back. He will also need to crack Levon's wrist back in a way in which he still maintains some degree of height. And finally, he will need to just sit there and bank on Levon not having a flop press. If any of these conditions fall through in this match, it is likely over. Now, we're going to break down each of these win conditions previously listed. Before we get into that, it is also important to remember that in Devin's case, he doesn't absolutely need to do this in round one. Maybe he can do one or two of these things in round one, and then by round four, he is able to control all these lanes. That is what is going to matter. So, firstly, Devin will need to find Levon's fingers. This simply means that Devin will need to force Levon into a position in which he can even apply pressure into his wrist. Devin's wrist rise will need to be strong enough that he can force Levon to hold on to him at least a little bit. And if Devin's rise is not strong enough, he has a secondary option of low hand top rolling and just trying to get a super deep grip and this could also work. But somehow, he will need to gain access to Levon's wrist. Next, he will need to crack back Levon's wrist. This is probably the most obvious one. And this is also the most important one. If Devin can't even do this, he has zero chance whatsoever. Devin will need to do this in order to create a lane for him to slowly climb and adjust and go up and over the top of Levon over the course of a super long round. If he can't do this, there won't even be a path for Devin to take and it will be totally over. So, if Devin finds Levon's fingers and then cracks the wrist, he will also need to maintain height. Essentially what this means is that if we see a repeat of round 1 from the 2022 match, this does not necessarily guarantee a Devin victory. In that round 1 match, Devin did force Levon to hold on to him and he did crack Levon's wrist just slightly, however he was totally underneath Levon by the time this happened. So we didn't really have a great lane to try to climb over the top from this point on. Even if this round was not called as a pin and Levon was forced to readjust and climb, I think it's still very likely that he would have been able to do this and still defeated Devin at least in this round. Whether or not this could have led to Devin winning via endurance is a separate question. And on the other hand, say that Levon's wrist gets cracked back in a similar manner as to Ermi's Gasparini, now Devin would be controlling height as per my definition. This doesn't mean that Devin has to crack Levon's wrist this far away from the pin pad, but I'm more so referring to the angle of the hands. So even if Devin does this via King's move, he is still in a pretty good place, all things considered. So if Devin manages to find Levon's fingers, crack the wrist, while maintaining at least enough height for him to have a path to climb and adjust over time, Devin still has one more thing to do, and that is to not let Levon flop press him. Sometimes you can block a flop press with cup even if you don't have great shoulder commitment, but realistically, Devin does not have enough cup to do this to Levon because nobody does. Devin would really need to over rotate Levon and force him into total supination in order to accomplish this. So, how is Devin gonna stop Levon's flop press? Simple, by Levon not having one. And there you have it. If Devin can accomplish all these things by round 4, I think he probably ends up winning. But of course, whether or not he can do this is a totally different story. Let me know if you guys agree with the win conditions I gave for Devin in this match. And we are just a mere 12 days out from today.